Come with me to the Botanical Gardens of Meisse in Brussels. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her. I'm a plant lover from the Netherlands, but today I am in Belgium, in the Botanical Gardens of Meisse, which is near Brussels, with my friends Maaike and Larissa, to check out their plants! It's an adventure, let's go! There is a fortress! Whoa, there's a butterfly on the side of the castle and it's moving and beautiful palm trees everywhere the buildings are really nice so far of course we went to the greenhouse first because we want to see all the plants in there and look how big it is this is one of the biggest ones i've ever seen let's go inside the greenhouses let's see this is the mediterranean house seems like there's different climates in all the different places of course we're gonna go straight for the tropical house cloud forest so that is interesting Ooh, heard my boyfriend loves bananas like that i'm actually right underneath one as well let's see what they have beautiful begonia at the corner here masoniana pretty they planted some orchids on the trees as well which we will keep an eye out for as inspiration for my terrarium. Seems there's normally a little rivery thing here or stream with a bunch of pinguicula and other um, carnivorous plants. I always forget the word. So pretty. These remind me of Art Deco, uh, Art Nouveau style designs. Some kind of anthurium. Look at this, old stems. Oh, anthurium caramante with some stuck leaves, so it's <laughs> not just us at home. Another beautiful begonia, very hairy and spots. I like it on this. Uh, papaya, there's some very cute orchids as well. And you can see the papaya fruit and flowers. And back there is a passion fruit plant, we think, with a little fruit there. And I found some more and more close to the path. Look at them. I wonder if it's this or not. Passiflora bicolor, that's the one. Look, fruits, passion fruits everywhere. We have some begonia that are pretending to be part of the wall, which I think looks very cool. And some more over here. This is a very fun way to grow them. And it looks really nice. You don't even almost notice them. The next one is the rainforest. Ooh, I already see a plant we like. An aeroid, I think. What is it? Cerestis mirabilis. Nice. Look at this old stem. Here you can see the leaf that you might recognize more from home huge palm trees this weird weird sticky thing oh it's more warm in here for sure it is properly a tropical rainforest because we have some bananas here is the end of the banana my phone doesn't want to focus hence the hand here's some nephitis which i've seen very small but here they're quite big beautiful mosses here found a flowering orchid very small but very cute Stenoglottis longifolia and some more small cuties on moss on a dead tree branch we spotted a philodendron but from quite far away can I read the label? can my phone focus on the label? no <laughs> Larissa was able to read the label it says philodendron ornatum and then on this tree is an even bigger philodendron, I'm guessing. Maybe the same, I don't know. It's getting busy, so you might hear some more people, but there's another orchid flowering. Looks kind of similar to the one we just saw. But then again, I am no orchid expert. Everything looks kind of similar to me. Here's another big anthurium in down here, but we're going up the steps now. We made it up the walkway, which is also, by the way, very beautiful. Larissa, her channel, her Instagram is Loving Monstera, so she's happy. Huge Monstera all over the place. 
This is awesome. I'm seeing a lot of aeroids. It's huge. Look at this new leaf. And then there's also fruits in there. Monstera deliciosa after the delicious fruits it has. Look at the size of this. Wait, we can do the wide angle lens. Whoa. Here's another Monstera, some kind of Adansoni type. And then in this tree, I'll have to step back. Is some kind of philodendron. Oh, look, this looks like bipenifolium over here, which is another one than the one. This is the other one that we saw. Bipenifolium. Here you can see the monstera a little bit better. They're very, very thick petioles and stems. Wow. Can you believe this size? This is incredible. Maybe I should look downstairs if I can find a label for you guys. It's beautiful my body for size look at this beast <laughs> ah so it's two the bipenifolian on the right and then the other one on the left and this common one when i was in costa rica they called it donkey face so it, i don't know the official name but i call it donkey face there's also bromeliads but <laughs> i'm not really into them <laughs> sorry aaron here is another i think anthurium new leaf and an inflorescence about to open. Is there a label? Oh, wow, it grew all the way from there. Look at this long stem. That's interesting. Look at all these aerial roots hanging down from the Monstera deliciosa. A large form. A large form. More little orchids. And then also look down here. This is Peperomia turtle something. String of turtles or Peperomia prostrata. Thank you. <laughs> And then over here, there's also Peperomia growing and some more Peperomia and some more Peperomia and a, a flowering little orchid, Oncidium. It doesn't want to focus unless I do my hand with it. Focus. Down here, we have more aeroids. Look at this huge philodendron in the back and the donkey face one in the front. And then another donkey face, I guess, but that is Billy Etier, the one we actually know the name of. Can you see it? It's pretty big, pretty nice. And then there's some new leaves here as well. Little orchids everywhere. And I really love this walkway because it's really zigzaggy and it makes you feel like you're able to go into the jungle. Now that it's more quiet and less hot, I wanted to show you these little paths again because this is really fun. The design is awesome. Ah. <laughs> poked in the face by a plant. You get to really feel like you're going very up close to all the plants. We're leveling up another set of stairs. Also, there's some huge, that is size my name rememberer today, Aristologia flowers here, look at that. Unfortunately, the walkway is closed because I can see it going all the way around this huge greenhouse and then ending up there. But there's Mike. We're not allowed apparently today. Or I don't think ever. Maybe the plants took over and they decided not to. From the top here, I'm spotting a nice Calathea zebrina that we will check out from below. And lots of beautiful palm trees. All the different ones. And most of them are actually also flowering. It is really hot up here though. I'm definitely starting to sweat. And we have to crawl under the palm tree flowers. But. Oh, I see a really nice uh, Dioscora thingy climbing on a palm tree that I'll show you later as well. Anyone have a fear of heights? The greenhouses don't have that nice vibe of the more old ones that I've showed you like in Paris and Scandinavia, but I think they are <laughs> quite old. <laughs> they might need some support and help, but it's also pretty. Can you see my sweat? Yes, I'm glistening. <sighs> the coolness of the forest ground and the beautiful Calathea, or whatever they're reclassified as now. And jewel or a kid's crawling all over the place. Down here we found a, oh, my shade, Mamai. I found this little area from where we can look at the aeroids a little bit better from the outside. There is a path here, but that's not accessible to visitors so i think that's where you would see most of the aeroids better but we have this like here we can see the mamai from the other side it's really big and nice then there is another mamai and of course a bunch of also 
Peperomia like plants, baby leaf of the biliette there, climbing up the tree. Can you see it? Up there. And that looks like one of those philodendron, I don't know the name anymore. Maybe it's a thematophyllum. Ooh, this is a very pretty epiphyllum. And then there's Calathea down here. Look at these guys. And they do the same as me. Once they are long enough, they're guiding them down to the side and then down into the soil. Epic. Here's the baby monstera leaves. And then a squamiferum as well with a side. Fuzzy petals all over. It's a very skinny looking squamiferum. Normally they're a little bit more chunky. Here is an amedrum medium. And then if you look here in the tree, we're not sure if that's part of the same plant or if that's a, some kind of raphidophora. But it's very cool. And a beautiful staghorn fern with a lot of sh fronds. I don't know what they're, shields, whatever they're called. We found a Hoya. I think Hoya australis actually. It looks, why is it not focusing? It looks a little bit like obovata, but I know from experience that a lot of botanical gardens usually have australis. And it looks like they also have flat mite issues. <laughs> it's not just us. We also spotted a type of skin dapsis that grows all the way up the tree. And then you, that's not it, that's a ficus, I think, but it's all the way over there as well. Very nice. Look at this guy. Sorry, I'm eating candy, but this is glorious. Next to it is a nice pilea as well. It's pretty big growing all over the place. It's actually bigger than I thought. Mm. And this is, mm. sorry, this candy is stuck. <laughs> the discorea discolor. The, I don't know how to pronounce, but it's climbing all up the tree. Look at it in the sunlight. I'm going up. Look at them. So nice. I've seen this one on Instagram. This is from Indonesia, I think, because my friends in Indonesia have it. Hofmania refulgens. They're very velvety looking and but darker than comes across on camera. It reminds me of Labisia a little bit. I wonder if they're related. This is very cool. I definitely want to try and grow this in my terrarium. Calathea mosaica and Warsawiki growing nicely down here. More of the Hofmani that I'm getting slightly obsessed with, I'll admit. Beautiful, shiny begonia. Iridescence. This one also looks a little bit like that Hofmania. I don't know what it is, but look at the velvet shimmer. That's the thing that gets me, the shimmer. <gasps> Soft and fluffy too. And a big Raphidophora. Larissa says it's decursiva. I have a Raphidophora expert with me now. <laughs> You can see it climbing up the palm tree. Very interesting, attaching up there. Really big leaves. Nice things crawling, but they don't look super bushy here. We have a Syngonium, more Magonia, Xanthosoma lindeni that doesn't look very lush today. Ruvelia, I have the Macoyana in my terrarium. This is the Devociana. More Hofmania. Some kind of maybe oh okay Larissa is looking up the name but some kind of I thought caladium but it can also be something else like homolomina I think I've seen this in the garden centers here's a different type of the Hoffmania this color this one I don't like as much <laughs> is that bad the other ones are more leafy Maybe this is an alocasia or colocasia, but I think it is the leucocasia gigantea thai giant. Very not gianty yet, but much bigger than mine, so <laughs> I can't say anything. Stand yeah, up close, thematophyllum um, stem. Really, really big one. Tell me in the comments what this one specifically is, because we don't know exactly. Beautiful dark begonia that doesn't want to come across because it's basically black. This is a beautiful Calathea Ecuadoriana. Very nice colors. 
a little, I think, mimosa tree. I'm not quite sure. I'm fascinated with this one. Beautiful patterns. On this side, we have some alocasia. I think it's cuculata, right? This one. And on this side, I think this is a either an alocasia or water banana because they often have those alocasia odora. Just a very, very old alocasia. Some kind of caladium, I think, or maybe thematophyllum. Colocasia esculenta var illustris. Beautiful, I should know that. I have some colocasia at home now. And some cool bananas. And some water features down here. There's quite a few paths that are a little bit overgrown, which we like. Here, I have definitely spotted a Thai giant, because look at the inflorescences, the structure, the shotgun flowers, the big leaves. It's all stuck in other plants, though, so it doesn't shine as much as it does in some other places. But, yay, I've spotted a little path into the jungle, so it seems to be allowed. Let's see what we can find. Hmm, I don't know if this is allowed. Wow, this is pretty cool. I'm not quite sure if I'm now completely breaking the law, if this is not for me, so I'm gonna go back. I'm too scared. <laughs> this looks like a Papremnum aureum, the standard house plant but really big in the jungle look at these size leaves more xanthosoma beautiful look at this little water bridge thingy we're definitely going to try that this looks like an anthurium as well from the inflorescences in between beautiful leaves climbing up a tree for my croton lovers i will film the croton this is what it looks like from this side would you go it's in the water. Might get some wet feet. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's do this Ooh, together. <laughs> Low in the water. <laughs> we made it. This is also beautiful. Geo genantes poopy. We're now in the evolution garden or evolution greenhouse. It's a lot cooler here, so it's nice to cool down, but probably also means less cool plants. Look at these adorable little heart plants. No idea what they are, but I think they look a lot like those garden plants with pink hearts. Down there is some nice begonia. Beautiful moss on a little palm tree. Fern tree. It's a fern tree. I said it wrong. This is like ferns, all types of plants. Oh, look at this beautiful water lily in the little beautiful pond. Or what do you call this? That's stunning. And there's a little fishy. We'll break to go for lunch because I'm feeling lightheaded. But look at this view. We're walking to the Orangerie. This is a castle. That's pretty epic. I don't know any other botanical garden that looks this nice. After lunch, the ladies are now checking out the rest of the gardens. I am currently resting a little bit because I was feeling very lightheaded. It's already three anyway, so it's been social for quite a long time. So I'm resting and then we're finishing the greenhouses. Oh, butterfly. I thought I would go on this fun walkway over the water, but it's actually not over the water at all. It is over the grass, so hmm. that's what I was looking for. The backside of the castle on our way back to the greenhouse. A beautiful old fashioned style greenhouse with no plants inside, so that's a shame. We're back in the greenhouse, checking out the desert greenhouse next. Immediately, it's nice and toasty in here. Okay, please tell us, is this the silver dollar vine? Because we don't know. Also, there's another plant here, so it's on top of another bush, but it looks interesting. 
beautiful tree trunk over here from, is it an agave? I don't know exactly. Big cactus, hairy cactus. <laughs> Look at this one. This is very hairy and fluffy, very adorable. You can see new growth here, I think. And then this green one. This weirdo plant is crested over here or crustate or fascinated or however you want to call it but it is fascinating for sure here's some more and this one has a lot of cute little flowers also some interesting dead ones and laying down ones that one's definitely dead this one is growing all to the side and another fluffy one <laughs> and the euphorbia, no, uh, opuntia, with a lot of cute little bits, some cacti in the middle. It's kind of hard to show you, they're all overgrowing each other. Oh, look at this one with the little babies. They have very nice signs on the plants here that show you whether they're endangered or critically endangered or like, um, what was the other one? Vulnerable or something? So that is very helpful to know what you're looking at. Okay, this is my new favorite. Look at this. This is an, I think, opuntia, I want to say, but it's round. It's circle, circular, and it's a Mickey Mouse shape. And it doesn't have many spikes as well, so I like that. This part is a bit hard to show you with this light, but maybe if I go over, you can see this very cute cactus with all the blobs. Look at this tall astrophytum, which apparently is vulnerable and then the endangered huge blobs that i call huge blobs because i don't know much about cacti and succulents yet i love these colors the blue and green vibes of this one look at this guy this is cousin it the hairs are very funky looking and this one is beautiful too this also looks very cool this looks like a crystal's penis cactus but here a new piece is growing like bursting out of the center that looks pretty funky and painful like giving birth a penis cactus giving birth this spiky stem is i think a plumeria the really nice flowers tropical vibes here you can see the flower better not quite sure tell me if this means that pachypodium Lamerae. Not sure if that's the right label though. Some beautiful flowers over here. I can't really tell. Wait, I can't really see the plant. It looks pretty dead, but maybe this is one of those plants that only grows in like the spring and then goes into a dormancy. But the flowers are beautiful. The Rode Fair of Borstel. Hemantus coquineus. This one is also interesting. It looks a little bit like the booby cactus, but a little bit different shapes similar if that makes sense the label says Sirius Pilufianus F Monstruosus Rotscactus look at this weirdo tree looks like shark teeth dragon teeth and at the top it just looks like a regular tree next up the tropical wetlands including hopefully the water lilies Ooh, it is hot. In the panties, it smells delicious here as well. Here we are. Look at them. Wow, it smells so good in here. It really smells like Thailand in here for me. Where I did my yoga teacher training in 2017. I was there for like six weeks in Koh Samui, in Koh Tao, Phuket, that area. It smells delicious something very sweet and tropical. Let's go and try and find it. This already smells delicious. I don't know what it is exactly, but it smells really nice. So maybe that's it. Lots of nebendies. This guy is huge. I recognize these size leaves, but look at the top here. They are so big. Wow. 
And there's a water lily opening. My phone couldn't really focus on the flower because it was too far away. But luckily, Micah brought a beautiful camera with a zoom lens. And you'll see more of that in a minute. And then here are the lotus flowers with lotus seed pods. Beautiful colors. But this is not the smell, I think. No, it's not bad, but it's not the smell. Here's some hibiscus. Beautiful. No, also not the smell though. Beautiful caladium and water bananas. Look at this beautiful caladium, Pratermissum. And behind there, we have the paparazzi, <laughs> Maike. A very big Nepenthes Dickinsonia, beautiful. Down here, we also have some pictures so you can see them a little bit better. Mm, I'm scared to look inside. On the side here is a kind of ficus crawling, I think. And did you know the little ones in the water are also an aeroid floating? And then uh, another side of the giant water lily. Here are the white flowers again, and the smell is definitely coming from them. So whatever they are, the smell is delicious. Also another very cool water plant. Look at that. Looks almost fake. For those who like Sansevieria, they have a lot of them here as well. But I'm not into them, so we are skipping. You're getting to see them and that's it. <laughs> okay, Sansevieria lovers, you're getting a little bit more. If you own one of those yellow once then it came from this specific plant it says here that this is the mother of all sansevieria so some belgium guy brought it here to describe it and all the ones that are cultivated are grown from this plant can you imagine it and how slow they grow tiring just thinking about it caladiums anthurium a huge begonia and then some cool aeroids in the back there's a and here, I think this is a cutting from the huge plant in the other greenhouse because it has a lot of holes right at the bottom of the, well, the ground. So that's really nice. Another Hoffmania, but it's a little bit darker now, so it's really harder to see. This looks like a really funky alocasia that I've actually been seeing for sale in a few garden centers lately. There's a water feature here, so it's very loud. Plus. A bunch of people. Caladiums, cool plant in the back there. A ton of bananas and a fun walkway. Ooh, coconuts at the top there. More of that schismatoglottis from New Guinea. Hey Scott, it's an avocado tree. A much happier Xanthosoma Blendeni. That's a nice size leaf. Oh, where's my hand? There you go. And then we have found some Amorphophallus in different stages of their life. They may have been the biggest ones I've ever seen. Body for scale. This one is actually really wide, so this might flower maybe next year, I don't know. And then there's this one that's kind of collapsing and browning, can you see? And the stem, the petiole has uh, become a little bit bent. And then there are two that are totally collapsed and dead. I think this says, Sadly, my flower is almost at an end. I think this was a flower. That's why there's a weird smell in the air here. Interesting. Remember, this is all one leaf. And this is one other leaf. And this is one other leaf. Nature is pretty amazing. Beautiful alocasias or something. And then a vanilla orchid with at the top there a bunch of vanilla beans in there as well really nice more i think taro colocasia 
different looking one here. That looks funky. Funky pattern. We came back to this one to go to the tropical greenhouse one more time and look, the water lily flower is definitely opening a lot. We found another flowering plant which looks like a pitcher, but it's on this plant which looks like a passion flower plant. I don't know what is hidden in there. There's several flowers that look very funky. Look at this whole long thing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, and leave a nice comment. And you can join my Patreon and YouTube membership if you want to see more. I will see you next week. Bye!